I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton and it's time to find out what's going around. I frequently see patients in the emergency department that are referred or self-referred for high blood pressure. The challenge with blood pressure is that it's a significant long-term concern, but it's rarely a short-term emergency. Our body compensates very well in the fluctuations in blood pressure. In fact, our blood pressure will change throughout the day in response to activities and the perceived needs of the body. The best way to think about the risk of blood pressure is not in the number, but in the body's response to that number. There's not a number at which we start to panic in the emergency room. Of course, there are extremes on both ends that warrant immediate attention. But for the vast majority, you will fall in a range that can benefit from an evaluation, but not aggressive intervention. In fact, research has demonstrated that aggressively addressing the blood pressure by a number in the emergency department when it is not associated with secondary organ damage does more harm than good. Meaning that when we work for a certain number, we are often doing more damage than we are preventing. Thus, you can do some things to pump the brakes and address the long-term risks of high blood pressure. First of all, the only true hypertensive emergency is when there is end organ damage, meaning that the blood pressure has changed so rapidly or is at a level that there is some other complication like altered mental status, kidney damage, vessel damage, or heart attack. Rapid changes tend to be more problematic because the body has had less chance to compensate. Second, if you are concerned enough that your blood pressure is high, that you're going to check it, it will be. Anxiety and stress causes blood pressure to rise as part of the fight or flight response. I will have patients present to the emergency room with steadily rising pressures because they keep checking it and getting more stressed and anxious as they go. The best way to check blood pressure is when there are no outside factors that can impact it. Checking at the same time each day with the same cuff and keeping a diary for your primary care physician can be key to management. We want to know the spikes, but we also need to know the baseline. If we are aggressive with the spikes, we can often cause bigger issues with the troughs when they get too low. Finally, take your medications as prescribed and work closely with your primary care doctor. Blood pressure management is not a light switch that we turn on and off. It's a long-term management issue to determine the best long-term strategies with diet, exercise, stress management, triggers, and medications. You have concerns, get checked out, but for the best long-term success, work closely with your doctor. This will help you achieve long-term success. You can join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter, like our What's Going Around Facebook page, and follow at Everyday Med on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and that's What's Going Around.